Hello, Pastor Don here. I'm the pastor of Rock of Ages Lutheran Church in Wildwood, Florida, and it's been a while since I've done these daily devotionals. I've been gone for uh, about a week, uh, officiating at the memorial service for my mother up in Illinois. So I've missed the opportunity to come before you and read some scripture for you each day and to uh, spend a moment in prayer. So we're resuming now on this Tuesday morning, the 6th of October, and uh, God willing, we'll continue to do so. I'd also like to uh, let you know that uh, as we continue to plod through this pandemic, uh, seven months in, that uh, we have begun to uh, consider opening the church back up uh, on a limited occupancy basis to not only our members, but to the public. And we expect to make that decision um, this week. So uh, we are moving forward with confidence that uh, we've done all we can to make a safe environment. And we're gonna leave the decision to each individual, whether or not they feel safe coming out uh, to attend worship. Uh, we have resumed now uh, offering communion and we have had uh, a small number of people, about 28 or so, who have come and taken advantage of it. And um, uh, they report that it's a wonderful relief to be able to once again uh, participate in the Eucharistic meal. So today, uh, let's continue on with our scripture readings. I'd like to read today from the Message Bible out of uh, John in the 16th chapter. You'll no longer be so full of questions. This is what I want you to do. Ask the Father for whatever is in keeping with the things I've revealed to you. Ask in my name, according to my will, and he'll most certainly give it to you. Your joy will be a river overflowing its banks. I've used figures of speech in telling you these things, Soon, I'll drop the figures and tell you about the Father in plain language. Then you can make your request directly to him in re uh, relation to this life I've revealed to you. I won't continue making requests of the Father on your behalf. I won't need to, because you've gone out on a limb and committed yourselves to love and trust in me, believing I came directly from the Father. The Father loves you directly. First, I le left the Father and arrived in the world, and now I leave the world and I travel to the Father. You know, the, what's being referenced in this, this text today is something that uh, is difficult for uh, we mere mortals to try to understand, and that's that uh, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit are one, different manifestations of God. And Jesus is uh, telling the disciples for the very first time that they can refer to him, they can come to him as Father, as Abba in their prayers to ask whatever it is is on their minds. Previously, there had been no other opportunity for uh, people to consider Jesus as the Father, as God. But Jesus assures them now, as he is approaching the end of his public ministry, that uh, he's going to be returning to the Father and that he can be available to us for all that we ask for. So when we pray, we can pray directly to Jesus because we are praying to God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit makes known to us the presence of Jesus in our lives. The Holy Spirit is, again, one of those difficult entities to understand. The Holy Spirit is like the wind. It's like the breath of God blowing around us, making itself known to us in ways that if we slow down, we can begin to perceive that God is indeed present with us through the Holy Spirit. How do we access it? We slow down, we pray, and we alert our senses to the fact that Jesus is present with us, God is present with us, the Holy Spirit is present with us in all that surrounds us. So, as we go about our days, we should take great comfort in knowing that we can access the Father directly. We can pray to Jesus Christ for all that's on our minds 
and we have a lot on our minds. We can take assurance in knowing that our prayers will be heard. When will they be answered? We can't know, but they will be answered, maybe in a way different than we anticipate. But we are nevertheless called to pray constantly, to pray with the assurance that our prayers are being heard and one day will be answered. Let's pray now. Gracious God, we're so grateful that in the midst of an uncertain world with so much calamity, that the one thing that has uh, sustained itself as truth over the millennia has been your holy word. So we're again grateful that we have a chance to access your holy word through scriptures. Thank you, almighty God, for reminding us that there is a rock, there is certainty in your word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we uh, continue to be uncertain in this world about what's next with so many unpredictable things, so many uh, drastic things going on in our world. Uh, we are so grateful that we have a chance to uh, take a moment and find peace in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for listening to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we continue to raise up to you the uh, desperate needs of all those who have been afflicted by so many uh, tragedies in our country, especially. Uh, the wildfires, the tornadoes, the uh, hurricanes, um, the civil disturbances, all have left so much destruction, Lord. And uh, in some cases, it, it leaves hopelessness. But we, as followers of Jesus, must be the messengers of hope. Help us, Lord, to shine a light into the darkness of the despair that so many people are feeling. Help us, Lord, to be your disciples. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we continue to ask for uh, your healing miracles, your healing presence with those who are afflicted by the COVID-19 virus. The uh, the staggering numbers of deaths on a daily basis um, are difficult for us to comprehend. Lord, we ask that this would subside. We ask that the emergence of uh, an effective vaccine would come relatively soon. Protect us, Lord, until that day comes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, I thank you for spending a moment to hear a little bit of, of gospel uh, message this morning and to spend a moment in prayer. I hope you're doing well. I hope that you continue to uh, be patient and have hope that this too will pass and that uh, what we can do to, to make it a little bit easier on everybody is, is to just be kind, to do kind things and to not participate in the divisiveness that is all too present among us. Until we meet again tomorrow, this is Pastor Don saying, God bless.